Good evening and um, many apologies. I am the late Mrs. B. I've just had a wonderful hot bath. I've had a snooze and a bath um, and I didn't want to get dressed. So here I am in my night clothes. Hi, um, Tegan. I decided I wasn't going to get dressed after my bath. So I hope you don't mind seeing me in my dressing gown, but at least I'm here. Um, so let's just ref hi Jackie. Um, so let's just refresh the page. So for those of you coming in on the re on the on the on the live, um, a big welcome as usual. Great to see you all here. Um, hi Janet, and uh, for those of you coming in on the replay, this is being recorded on Saturday. <laughs> I am snuggly warm. Um, it's being recorded on Saturday the 10th of November 2018. And those of you just coming in, um, you know, I am in my night clothes. I am, I've had a very busy day. I've been running around in the rain. Some of you will have seen me in the rain, getting wet or, um, you know, in and out, the, uh, the car in and out various places today. I don't know how many live streams I've done today. I am weary. I had a nice snooze and a soak. Um, I'm glad you love the road trips today. That's fantastic. Um, and so, you know, excuse me, but I'm in my night clothes because when I've live streamed, I'm going to bed. I didn't see the point of going to, in the bath and then getting out and getting dressed. And I'm sure you don't mind whether I appear in my night clothes or whether I appear um, in my day clothes. And so nice to see you all. Yet yeah, one of my favourite colours, of course. Um, so you wouldn't expect anything else, I'm sure, would you? Um, so anyway, I, that's the, the reason I was late is because I was enjoying too much of a nice soak in the bath. Um, you missed my road trips and then you saw them. Okay, well, they're all there. They're all on. Now, most uh, most of them today were on my Isle of Wight live page because it was uh, we were live streaming a lot of the island rather than just general chit-chat. Um, then they're on the Isle of Wight live page. Let me just find that for you and give you a link. And then we'll talk about what we've been up to. Lots of you will have seen what I was up to today. Um... If I say lest we forget or we will remember them, it might be a bit of a clue to what we've been doing today. So let's just um, let's just find the page so that you know where to go. I will be putting them all on YouTube. Um, hang on. I've got a lot of work to do. I was going to have a total day off tomorrow. Uh, until tomorrow night, you know, daytime off. And then I realised, of course, there's some rem Remembrance Day parades in the morning. So unless it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, lots of poppies. We have seen so many poppies today. Um, so let's just give you the link. Hang on. Let's just do this link. And so this is the, this is the page where most of them were. Most of the today's um, live streams. Oops, I've knocked my camera. Most of the live streams today, um, hang on, there should be a link coming up. Has the link come up? Come up. I've put the link there, but it's not showing. Is it showing on there? Whoa, hang on. What is happening? Um, oh, no, I haven't. Let's have a look. Well, I don't know why it hasn't. I've just put the link up to the, um, to the Isle of Wight live page, and it isn't showing in the comments so let's put it again see if it works this time i don't know why it's not doing it having a funny five minutes i suppose there we go is there a link coming up can any of you see that link it's cut oh do you know facebook might be oh hang on you know what i've done i camera around the wrong way so <laughs> Sorry, I wondered why I couldn't see me. Uh, yes, you've got my kitchen. Sorry, and it's not wasn't the tidiest of kitchens, so I apologise for that. I don't know what happened. I went to I went to swipe the screen, and I obviously hit the the flip button. Hi, guy. Nice to see you. Um, no, so you couldn't see me, but <laughs> can you see me now? Sorry, I didn't really mean to show off my kitchen. I was trying to give you the link to the Isle of Wight Live page. Now it's gone on. It's showing on my um. On my computer over there but it's not showing in the comments on here can anybody see the link of the Isle of Wight live page that you can you can see the link can you because I've put it in twice but I can't see it good evening guy um, and you can see the link okay I don't know why I can't see it on on here I can see it over here but not here Oh, 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 Tegan can't see it Let, uh, all right I'll, I'll give it third time lucky let's see if it works this time 
Um, so if you can't, no, no. Well, there you are. I've put it in again. That's, um, all right, let's see if, I, all right, okay. Tell you what, I'm going to type it on the screen. So let's see. Um, it's, hang on. That's, it's it's obviously having a funny five minutes. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, you know, Facebook does these things from time to time. So let's let's see if I can put it on here. Wait a minute. Um, hang on. HTTPS. Oh, forward slash, forward slash. Sorry, folks. This is a tedious, but never mind. Facebook. Whoops. Hang on. It's very difficult typing on a small keyboard like this facebook.com forward slash isle of white dot live so let's hope there we are it's giving right okay yeah thank you marianne they were showing on the other one but um but some people couldn't see it so there we go it's there now <laughs> <laughs> very tired Janet very tired so what I've been up to today um I decided Jackie Jacqueline offered to take me on another road trip yeah there it is she offered to take me on another road trip and as it was um as it's remembrance day weekend and as it's the 100th anniversary um of you know of the lest we forget etc we decided uh, I decided what a great idea it would be to go and see some of the poppy displays around the island. And um, Jackie lives down in Gurnard, and that was the last one we did, and that was an amazing display. So I do not know how many poppies we've seen today, but it's an awful lot. We didn't stop and count. So the first one we went to um, was there's a church in... Um, a church in Ryde, and I've never even been there. I didn't even know where it was. I had to look it up on Google. And um, it's called St. Michael's and All Angels in Ryde. And it's not being used as a church anymore. It's, it's a listed building. And um, people are fighting to keep it as a, as, as a, um, as a, a church that does f uh, events events such as today so today um that's right if i did stop to count you wouldn't see me for about another two years i'm sure you're quite right tegan because um there were loads of poppies in st a in st at st michael's there were poppies in gurnard all along there were poppies um where else have we been we've been to sandan and shanklin um all sorts of places let me actually let me look and see so um, I don't know if you, how many of you watched all the live streams, but we were very busy today, running in and out. So let's see, um, lest we forget. Oh yes, so the first. Actually, we didn't go to. We didn't go to St Michael's first. Oh, oh hang on, sorry, day. that's it's me. <laughs> that one. That was me in in the library in um, in Wright, and they have a wonderful display there. And I'm just going to put that link in and see if see if that link comes up. Don't know whether it will because, of course, we're having a few funny five minutes here in fact oh yes no, no let's see if this one will come up um because what we did we went to ride library first and in ride library let's see if that one will come up in oh so that's not coming up either i oh um in ride library they have um i think it's 664 poppies with people's names on um, that's how many people in the ride area gave their lives in the Great War. There are more poppies in the library than that, but actually on the top um, on the top of all the bookcases, there are these big paper um, poppies, and the black bit in the middle has the details of those people who gave their lives. So each poppy represents somebody who gave their lives. Um, and they're all along the top of the bookcases. Um, so if you go, I've put the link in, but it's not coming up. So go to the Isle of White live page if you want to see that. Um, later on, I will put them all on YouTube. Um, but I'm after my broadcast, I'm going to bed. I'm tired and I'm not going to do all that tonight um, because there's several of them. So um, 
that was a beautiful display. I'd actually helped with that. They asked for local people to go in and to um, stick, to cut out the poppies and to stick the, the, the black bits into the middle of the poppies with the details on. Um, so I went one afternoon and did joined one of the gangs. I mean, they had several afternoons where that was happening, but I went on one afternoon, met some lovely people, had a, had a stick and a natter. I was doing sticking, other people were doing cutting. So we had a stick and a natter let's say, and a nice afternoon and we got rewarded with a cup of tea as well. So that was lovely. Um, so there are, as I say, 600, I think it's 664 rep poppies representing people who gave their lives in the right area. Now there's more poppies than that because on the desk there's a lovely little tree. It's almost like a Christmas tree, but a little tree on the desk and it's got lots of little poppy decorations on it. Um, and so they've made a re they've made a really good effort there. Not only have they got poppies, but they've got a beautiful di um, beautiful display, um, about, you know, all about details from the war. They've got books on the table with all the details of the people who lost their lives. Hi, Rose. Um, and then they've also got a display. Um, Jackie was telling me there was a, there's. Oh, in one of the displays there was a little box and, and mementos of the war and the little boxes apparently were made um yeah lovely lovely lunch that's right um the little boxes were given to people um you know for, in the war they were made out of the shells of the 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 bullets i think she said i just have to go back and check that but i think that's what she said um so that was that was Ride Library, fantastic displays. So Rose, I'm just uh, excuse the uh, the attire. I'm tired. I'm going to bed soon. But I just had to talk about the amazing day we've had, been on road trips all round the island, looking at the fantastic poppy displays, and so. Um, and you know, as I say, and it's be it's it's raining hard now. I've got a dormer window above me here, and I can hear the rain beating down there. So um, I've when I won the award the other day um, for tourism ambassador in the um, Isle of Wight Radio Local Heroes, um, you know, they did comment how I go out in the, in all weathers, and today I got soaked in and out. Um, I even dropped my uh, my notebook. I got out of, of Jacqueline's car at one stage and dropped my notebook in a big muddy puddle. The book is, the, the, it, it's a notebook from the works and on the outside it says live, love, laugh. And I had to laugh because of course it just fell straight down in the puddle and uh, you know it made me laugh. Some people, it would make some people grumpy and cross but you know that sort of thing just makes me laugh. I thought you know if I'd have tried to do that it wouldn't have been happened but you know. Anyway so, so from Ride Library where did we go next? I got to look at the um, look at the page to see where we went next. Um, so let's have a look. So I was in the library. Oh, hang on. I was in the library. Oh, that's right. And then we went up to St. Um, as I say, St. Michael's. Um, hang on. Was that next? Let's have a look. How? Um, yes, yes. We went um, to St. Michael's and All Angels in Ride. And as I say, I've lived on the island for 19 years, and I didn't even know where this is. Um, I'm finding out so much more information um, by doing my live streams, um, by linking up with Jacqueline, and then talking to lots of other people. It's the networking that's bringing lots more stuff out. So, um, so we went, as I say, to St. Michael's and All Angels. And it, it, it's, a, it's a church that's, um, at the moment, they, they're hoping to be continuing as a church that just holds events. Um, it is a listed building, so um, lots of volunteers there. And our lovely Sandra Sharp, who's one of my patrons, um, you know, she sponsors some of the broadcasts. And she was up there, and she was dressed, you have to look at that one, uh, that video, uh, that live stream, she was dressed in what she calls her remembrance outfit. So she had a beautiful red hat with a poppy on. She had a wonderful dress with poppies on. She was attired, um, you know, so suitably for Remembrance Day. She looked beautiful. So have a look at that um, that live stream. I'm not going to put the link in because the links don't seem to be working on here for some, some silly reason tonight. So we won't fuss about that. But you, if you want to see it, go to the Isle of Wight page and look there. Or um, hopefully I might have them all on YouTube later tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. I will be sharing them again. So that was wonderful. And da um, down the middle of the church, they they have linked up with the children of Halen's Primary School, I think, and Dover Park School, two of our local schools in Ride. And it was just lovely because I'm an ex-primary school teacher and I stood 
in the middle of all these beautiful poppies that have been made by local children. So there were paintings of poppies, there were there was um, you know collages of poppies, and they had this wonderful display right down the middle of the church. And then they had other local businesses who'd made pictures that went up at the top. Hi, Sasha. Um, and so that was lovely. And then what was um, even more lovely, I met um, Sandra took me on a tour. And so there's a live stream of Sandra on the tour showing me that. And then she introduced me to a lady called Karen. And Karen's the lady who opens the church up every day for people to go and sit in or, um, you know, do their quiet reflections or whatever it is. And um, and she did. I did an interview with her to learn more about the church and the future of the church. So hopefully we will have good news that 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 will continue. There are discussions going on with the diocese of Portsmouth. Hopefully they will all be very positive. I'm sure. I mean it's it's looking positive, and Karen was very positive. So hopefully um, there will be more things going on up there. And um, maybe I will be live streaming from there again soon. So that was lovely. And then we went and had a cup of tea because they were making, they were doing tea and, and lovely people sitting at the tea tables. And a, a very nice gentleman made us tea. And it was tea in lovely china cups. Um, I think there's something special about drinking tea out of china cups. Um, I don't usually, I usually get a great big mug, but you know, that. but um, I know china t cups are not that big, but that didn't matter because the lovely gentleman said, do you want to top up? And you know, after we'd had one cup of tea, he topped our cups up. So that was lovely. But while we were sitting there, um, are you being classy today and hurt your knee? Oh no, oh dear, that's a shame. Hope it's getting better soon, Tegan. Anyway, we met this lovely lady. Could while I was live streaming, Jackie went off and and, and did some networking around the church and and started chatting to a lovely lady called Bubbles, and um, Bubbles had memories of the war, and um, so we did a live stream with her. And since I've done the live stream, I've noticed that people have come in and commented on that live stream. She was just a wonderful lady. We've had two hundred and eighty nine views to that live stream. And um, lots of that's right. Absolutely, Jackie. Um, uh, you know, you can't beat tea in a china cup. Um, it, it actually made me think of that song, um, having coffee in a proper coffee pot. You know, I don't know if you know that song and I'm not even going to attempt to sing it. But, you know, it, that's what it made me think of. Um, so anyway, um, so this lovely lady, Bubbles, she's called. I've forgotten what she said her real name was. But anyway, they know her as Bubbles. So people who've watched the live stream... Um, have gone on there and said, oh, hello, Auntie Bubbles, or, or lots of people knew her. And these were people commenting that I don't know. So it's expanding the community even more. And um, it was just nice to see that they were all commenting. So from from ride uh, we were going to head over we we had various things on our list to do because i i put out um something on facebook saying can anybody tell me where all the um where all the poppies are and um so where did we go we went um let's see we went next we were heading over towards shanklin and uh, sandown and that but we went to culver culver cliff <laughs> For, what's the first words of the song I don't know. Actually, let me look. Let me look up a proper coffee pot. Let's put that and I see if we can get it. We might find it and we might be able to Google it. Let's have a look. Um, uh, no, it's not giving me it because I haven't I haven't put enough in the search. Um, so let's put song about a proper coffee pot let's see let's see if it gives it to us all i want is a proper cup of coffee there it is i've got it um let's see hang on right okay let's see <laughs> i have youtubed it um uh, tegan <laughs> let's um hang on let's see let's skip the ad can you hear it? We've now reached the audience participation portion of our album. This is an old sing-along song, and what we'd like for you to do is to listen to the chorus of this song, and then sing along with us. We'll uh, go through it once. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can put the uh, the link in. I don't know if it will do it this time. Let's see. Oriental mat and his hair up in downtown Persia. 
Can you hear it? Can you hear it? That's the worst cup of coffee in Persia. It's a proper cup of coffee. But it's a bit of a tongue twister. And I'm going to stop it there because Facebook might decide that it's actually, um, it's actually might be copyright, and they might just then not want me to post my uh, live stream. So anyway, that's how it goes. And I put the link in, but I don't think the link came up. So if you um, if you want to Google it, it's all I want is a proper cup of coffee is the title of the song. And um, I don't know. Um, hang on. Um, I don't know where it originates. I don't know whose song it is. Um, so there we are. There's lots of comments on that one. Somebody's put it up, but I don't know actually where it originated. Anyway, so that was what that reminded me of. But um, of course, so we had this lovely cup of tea, we had this lovely chat, and then we decided to go to Culver. And so Culver Cliff, for those of you who are not living on the island and not familiar with it, it's a wonderful cliff. Uh, you know, uh, we went up there, Culver, and you've got beautiful views all around. You need to go and look at the, um, at the live stream. Um, it was windy, it was windy, it was wet, and um, Jackie drove me round and um, at the battery, and I don't mean the, the phone battery, the battery where they uh, the soldiers went, uh, the different form of, you know, battery, as I say, as I got out the car, my book fell into the puddle, it was a, it was a notebook, and it said live, love, laugh, it made me laugh because it got muddy and wet, um, but you know, so what, so I, uh, there was some information up there on the outside, you know, on the battery up there where the soldiers had been, I mean it's a great place for looking out, <laughs> loads of potholes, there were potholes, and then somebody was talking about the, the rabbit holes as well, it was very bumpy up there, um, and so, um, and Jackie's, Jackie's here in the, in the broadcast, and I, I perhaps she won't mind me saying, but she has offered um, to, um, to uh, gift me um, a gimbal, which actually, last night I was having issues holding the camera still. Sometimes when I'm doing the camera like now, um, did it, no, I didn't see any black goats up there, didn't know there were any, Jackie, that's interesting. Um, I have to look out for those next time. Anyway, um, it, it, what um, what issue I had last night was I was holding the camera at an event and I, and it, I was very shaky. And when you enlarge the picture, you know, so when I zoom in, the shakiness is amplified. And I was at the back of the room live streaming the them two, um, lovely Donna and Joan doing a, a very comedic routine. And I was very, it was making lots of you laugh, but I was having a job. So um, Jackie's very kindly offered to gift a gimbal. A gimbal is a gadget that holds a phone still. So I've got to check out and see, um, she's given me a link. I've got to check out and see um, whether that's, you know, I've got to check what she's doing and make sure that's okay. I'm sure it is. I just need to make sure because I don't want her buy, you know, sending me something that isn't right. Um, and I'm very, very grateful. I'm very grateful to, um, as I say, Sandra, who was in one of the streams today, who's one of my patrons, who that's what makes it possible to keep bringing these live streams. Um, and um, Janet, who Janet Head is another one of the, uh, my live uh, stream patrons. And she, um, she phoned me today and I have not we've not met yet and uh, thank you I have an iPhone yes Jackie I have an iPhone 6 at the moment I mean at some stage I'm going to have to upgrade my my phone um, I've had it a long time I think it's coming to the end of its life at the moment it's fine so we'll keep working with it at the moment um, and I have had to go and buy a, a new battery today. We've had issues. We've had so many issues. Um, on, on the, the awards night, I think um, I'm most, I've told most of you that my phone decided to totally shut down. My battery wouldn't work. My wires wouldn't work. You know, we had a night when it decided that I was supposed to have a night off and shut down. We did manage to get it going again. But we, you know, these are the things that happen. And of course, if you use the equipment a lot, as I do, um, you know, they're not going to last forever. Um, and so, you know, I, I knew I had to upgrade my battery. I, I went yesterday to try and upgrade it, but in, in ride, uh, 
gimbal battery lasts 15 hours oh that's good absolutely that's fine so i'll check that out jackie i may not do it tonight because i'm really quite tired so after the broadcast i'll probably go to bed because i've if i'm going to live stream any of the um the parades tomorrow the first part of the first parade in ride starts at nine o'clock in the morning and actually that's a, i prefer to be a night owl rather than a lark nine o'clock is a bit early but it's not very far from where i live um, so hopefully I'll be doing that. It depends really if it's torrential rain I may or may not do it. You know, I usually go out in the rain, but we'll see But if I, you know, I've got to get to bed tonight in order to be up and out for nine o'clock I'm gonna try possibly hi Lynn. Um, I'm gonna try possibly to do two two parades tomorrow there's more than two on the island um, and i could actually fit in three but i i really need to spend some time <laughs> that's it i have had a very long and busy day as you know jackie but i thoroughly enjoyed it and i enjoy it because you all love it you know and you're all commenting and coming in um, and of course i've met lovely jacqueline now and we have a lot of banter as you hear when we're in the car while I'm live streaming and she's driving me, we have an awful lot of banter and we have the same sense of humour. We've only known each other about six weeks, but it's like we've known each other forever and we're really bantering off each other and it's great fun. But it's lovely to have you all coming into the audience and hopefully as we go along, I'll get to meet all of you um, and you won't be just Facebook friends. You will be. And I know some of you, uh, Janet's coming to live on the island and she was when she rang me tonight, she's she's meeting. We're going to meet up. She's coming to the island soon and we're going to meet up. So we were arranging that. And again, it feels like we've known each other for a long time. I do need to rest my leg a bit, actually, yes. Um, so I will see what, I'll see what I do in the morning. I'll wake up and see whether, what I want to do. I do, well, I actually need to do some housework at home, but, you know, I live on my own. It's only me that sees it. <laughs> she is very, yes, very good company. I'm, you know, um, everybody's good. You know, oh, everybody's been so nice. So anyway, so we went, so we did Culver, and then from Culver, where did we go? Wait a minute, let's have a look. We went... Uh, we went to Sandown. Did we go to Sandown next? Oh, yes. Yes. Hi, Tracy. We went to Sandown. We went to Sandown Library. And then somebody messaged me and said, oh, did I? I can't remember which of you, who of you messaged me and said, did I miss? Oh, I think it was Sue. Uh, did I miss you going into Sandown Library? <laughs> Thank you, Tegan. I will try and look after myself. And, and yes, I know you need me. So I'll look after me and then I'll be here. So we went to Sandown Library and I've never been in Sandown Library. And I went to open the door and it wouldn't open. And I thought, that's funny. It's got signs outside saying. And then we looked at the Times. And it was just after one o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah, should be Tracy. I need I need to chat with you just after the broadcast. Chat with me because I'm not quite sure what time you said you want to be here. And I I'm going out to do something, but I hope that we we'll, we'll link up. So so after the broadcast, message me Tracy so that I can be we can meet up wherever. Even if I'm not at home, I might meet you. Uh, Tracy's trying to link up with me because I've got raffle prizes for her and she's going to be in ride tomorrow. And, and I need to, to make sure that I link with her because she doesn't have a car. She's coming over on the bus. So I want to make sure those raffle prizes, those lovely bottles of wine. I don't know if Rose is still in the broadcast, but Rose, the wine lady in Kettering, sent those bottles of wine. And tomorrow they should be with Tracy ready for the raffle um, for the Keezy Kindness Charity. So that's all working behind the scenes. So let's make sure we, we link up. But yes, yeah, so we went to Sandown to go into Sandown Library. And um, we pick, we managed to get there at five past one. And the library is shut between 12.30 and 1.30. So we didn't want to hang around for 25 minutes waiting for it to open. So we went on through to, to Shanklin. And did we find, we must have found some... Um, Oh, so as we were going through Sandown, um, we saw some cadets. <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, we saw some cadets collecting, um, selling poppies um, outside. They were outside a gift shop. And I went across and I um, talked to them, chatted with them, did a bit of, uh, did some photographs. I think we did a little bit of video. I don't know if I did, did I do live? I can't remember. I don't know if I did live or not. I think I just did video with them. So I've got to put that up. And um, that was a nice chat. And they said that they were going to be in the parade tomorrow in Ride. Um, so th that was nice to chat with them. Um, and then, 
Um, and, and then as we'd gone from there, somebody said, oh, did you see Sandown Carnival Shop? Because they had a display. And I couldn't remember where it was. But actually what we did, we went back. And, and actually Sandown Carnival Shop is right next to the shop where the cadets were. But because I was so busy talking to the cadets, I didn't notice that the Sandown Carnival Shop. So we went back and had a look at the Carnival Shop. Um, you're or, you're better. You can, yeah, absolutely. Yes, Tegan, it would be nice to meet up when, you, when you're when you feeling a bit better. Um, we can do that. Uh, yeah, so we went, so, as I say, we went to Shanklin and then we went back to Sandown. And in Sandown Library, they have a beautiful archway of knitted, uh, knitted, I think summer crocheted um, poppies. Most of them were purple. There was a one or two on a display at the side that were, sorry, most of them were red but one or two at the side that were purple. And I found out the other day that purple poppies represent animals to, that um, are no longer with us. So that's just something I learned this week. Um, and then there were some Lego poppies in the library as well. So that was quite interesting. And then they were just about to have a, um, they were gonna have an, um, some sort of entertainment in the library. And there were some ladies who came in in vintage clothes and of course us being us we we spoke to them and said oh you know who are you and what you're up to and they were the boogie sisters and um, accompanied by the one of their husbands um who was on the double bass and um they are entertainers on the island i'm going to look up the boogie sisters on facebook they've got a page and um, so i did a quick interview with them as well another local business to promote um and so you know this is what we're, we're doing we're promoting the island we're promoting local businesses um just lovely to give them all a plug we didn't stop for the entertainment because we wanted to get around so many places um, and so um, from there, where did we go now? It looks like, I think, we then went down to Gurnard. And actually we did two, we did two lots of Gurnard. Um, now let's see. Um, I don't know whether it's given me two lots. I don't, I can't see. Um, that's interesting because I can only see one video um, in Gurnard. But we actually did two. Um... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Tracy. They, they're amazing, aren't they? All those people who've done, knitted and crocheted. And if you saw the one um, the one in Gurnard, well, there were two. So we got to Gurnard and, um, you know, Jackie lives in Gurnard and she said there's the most amazing display. Well, what they've done is they've poppy bombed all down Worsley Road. So there are there are poppies on the on the bush uh, on the hedges there are poppies on the streets there are poppies on the lampposts there are poppies on the benches everywhere and so if you look and you find that one um and i'm not going to try and find the link because it doesn't seem to be that the links are working if you go to the isle of oh i think actually no the last one i apologize i know why i can't find it one of them because i put it on my go live granny page by mistake i linked into the wrong page um so one of them's there one of the uh, what the last one that i did when it wasn't raining so much is on the isle of Wight live page but the other one um was on my um, on my own go, go live granny page and we just got to the poppy display and of course the heavens absolutely opened uh, but we'd gone there to see it and what i do is live stream so i live stream whether it's hot or cold raining or dry i don't know if i've ever yet live streamed in the snow but i'm sure that will happen um, i've got quite wet today but what i will say is jacqueline's car is amazing it's a mobility vehicle and um she has a, an issue with a back problem and um she needs to keep her back warm no no i didn't tegan i didn't go to newport square but i'm hoping i might if i feel up to it in the morning um, i'm going to go into ride for their dis their parade and then nip over to newport on the bus um and see theirs i saw all those poppies tonight on on um on facebook i hadn't seen them so i might try and get over there it depends how i feel if i feel up to it i will do it and um and go and you know take pictures of those if not then you know i'll i'll just look after me and be at home but i would love to do that they're they're, they're um some of the some of the um big wigs from the island big wigs i think you know what i mean the official uh people holding official um titles are, pu are, pu are putting um 
they're laying wreaths tomorrow and so I had the choice I could do I could go to ride just to ride which I was tempted to do um, and the the um, white diamonds marching band are doing a um, a parade from the police station through to um, All Saints Church and then there's a service and then they come out and they go down and they lay wreaths um, at the outs in Lynn Street um, there's, there's a memorial there, um, a, a permanent po uh, memorial there, and they will lay wreaths there. But I thought what I might do is just do the first bit of that, and then when they go into the church, I would have time to get on the bus and go over to Newport and then catch their, their display. But it just depends. As I say, let's see how I feel tomorrow. If I get to bed soon, then I might feel up to it. And if I don't, I won't. I'll do what I do. <laughs> see what happens. Um, but anyway, I think you've seen an awful lot of poppies, or you will have seen if you look at my live streams. So that, that so what in Gernard, it was just absolutely amazing. But we did that first live stream, and I told you we've been having issues with batteries. Fortunately, Jackie's car has a USB port, so I was able to keep charging the phone up. But don't forget... All this live streaming is draining the batteries very quickly and because I had a battery issue with my my battery pack um, that was make that was making it difficult but um, so we went oh actually wait a minute what did I what did we do I've missed something out haven't I we had lovely lunch we had ah, when did we go for lunch I can't remember we went to where did we go for lunch um, was that in I forgot where I went for lunch. A lovely place called the Water's Edge. Oh, it was. I think it is going on. That's right. Yes, that's what we did. I think we did the first, the first live stream in Gernard, and then the battery. As I say, the battery died. I we went all along, and then at the end, there's a wonderful display. Um, one of Jacqueline's friends has knitted a display, and it's actually just outside her own house. That's right. Thanks, Tracy. And it's outside her own house and it's got, she's knitted the cenotaph, she's knitted some military folk, she's knitted some, um, some you know, crosses um, and, and poppies. It's an amazing display. So that, thank you, Tracy. So if, um, you know, if you haven't seen that, just find the one from Gernon. So as I was just recording that, the battery died completely. And so we decided, and, and you know, I was soaking by then because I was out in the rain. And um, so what we did, Jackie said, oh, come on, we'll go for a cup of tea. Well, we hadn't had any, any lunch. It was like after three and we hadn't had any lunch. So she took me down to the water's edge in Gernard, which is a favourite place of hers. And uh, we got in there. And as we got in there, the heavens opened even more. We were inside at this point absolutely torrential rain and part of that has got um, a glass roof so it's a like, bit like a conservatory so it was absolutely hammering down on the roof but we were inside we were in the warm the staff were lovely they said plug your phone in there and charge it up um, so we did that and you will see that I had a, some of you know I had a jacket potato I'm brain free so I can't do sandwiches and things like that but jacket potatoes are brilliant. So we both had a lovely cheese and bacon jacket potato and a lovely cup of tea um, and a lovely chat with the girls in there. So that was really nice. And then it, we had a second lot of torrential rain while we were in there, but we managed to sort of get back to the car when the rain in between the rain bursts um but you know that was a lovely little bit of the island i hadn't seen so jacqueline's shown me all sorts of places i've never been to and bearing in mind i've been on the island 19 years um you know it's a bit bad that i haven't been to all these places but anyway so that was lovely so we went there and then once the battery was charged up we went back and we went to gernard again because i'd actually miss outside gernard press they've got a lovely display of mice little knitted mice and they've got little um they're tiny little poppies yep we saw rainbows today but actually they weren't very strong rainbows um, and we just decided that we were rainbows in people's cl clouds anyway i don't know if you've heard that expression be a rainbow in somebody's cloud in other words if somebody's having a bad time you know be the smiley person that tries to help them and you know make them feel better so that's what we you know that's our mission is to be rainbows in in um in other people's clouds if we can cheer people up i mean the thing is my mission is to to inspire to educate and entertain hello lyndon um i don't know lyndon um lyndon's coming in from across the world she's one of our global viewers um and she's coming in from australia 
Lyndon, do you have any um, any we, we what we've been doing today? We've been um, doing uh, looking at all the poppies and all the poppy displays, um, you know, to do with the war. And um, so that's what we've been up to. I don't know what you have over your side of the world and going on at the moment, but that's we've got loads and loads of poppy displays over here. And um, I say I don't know how many poppies I've seen today, but I, uh, so so we went along to Gernard and I did another live stream this time. It wasn't raining as much this time. So I went and I, I, I live streamed the little mice that I'd missed the first time. I live streamed some of these. Um, so as I say, poppies on the hedges, poppies on the lamppost, poppies everywhere. Uh, poppies on the bollard. Then there's a pub there and they've got a hanging basket with knitted poppies in. Across the road there on the church there's a big display of poppies. And then on the, they've got a clock on um, on a big... The clock's up here and it says Gernard on it and it's on a big stand. And the stand is absolutely covered with poppies. And Jackie was telling me that the poppies there are made... What happened? The ladies from the WI went to the factory where they make the poppies that they sell that you you know you can buy off the traders you know off the off the people in the street. Um, so all those poppies that you know that we we buy. And what happened? They the poppies that are in Gernard on that particular thing are made out of the the oddments. So you know you've got the fabric where they print they they stamp out the poppies. And then you've got all the bits that are left, the bits of red red fabric that are left. Um, the they gave them to the the the, um, the ladies of the WI, and they came back and they've made poppies out of the spare bits of the fabric. So they've scrunched it together. And if you watch my live stream, I put my, you know I I picked it, put my hand in it, so you could actually see the fabric and how you could see the bits that were cut out for the the poppies that had been stamped out so you know have a look at that one if you can and then i made sure that i went back to the display of the the, the lovely lady had done um like the cenotaph and all that because that's at the point where my battery died the first time so we went back and made sure we had that so we have done a lot of poppying is that a word? <laughs> I'm making up words as I go along, you know. And my dad said, oh, you know, those are Humpty Dumpty words. You can, you know, they can mean what you like. No, I still haven't done my poppy, Tegan. I have done three petals of a poppy and I haven't got any further. I knitted three petals, pe three petals when I was on the, on the train coming home the other day and I knitted the green bit, but that's as far as I got. Maybe tomorrow I might finish my poppy, um, but I decided actually, you know, not to worry it's not going to be major if i don't finish it i've got a i've got a lovely um a lovely brooch that's a poppy that i bought in splash some of you will have seen that earlier in the week um and what i didn't know at the time so i bought a a, a, a brooch because i keep losing my poppy you know do you have that issue where you put it on and then you lose the pin and the poppy goes and whatever and then it looks like you're not you're not uh, wearing a poppy with pride um was carl just come in hi carl i didn't see you come in there wait a minute um anyway so um so my uh so i kept losing my poppy so when i saw this beautiful sparkly poppy i haven't got it on my desk here so it's in the other room i i bought it from um from splash in union street my lovely shop where i get the earrings and i thought what i did was put some money in a poppy box but what i didn't realize that liz does actually what she does is when when she sold all the, the brooches that are poppies, she then donates some of the proceeds of those um, into the poppy appeal. So that was really nice to know um, that, sh that she's doing that. Um, and so, you know, the fact that I'm not wearing a fab, you know, one of the poppies that you buy from the, the boxes, I have contributed and I do wear my poppy with pride. That's what they say, don't they? Wear your poppy with pride. Um, and so that's what um that's what i've been doing i haven't got it here on my dressing gown now um because it's over in the other room and i didn't think to put it on uh, but not to worry so um so that's it it's been a very poppy day we've been popping in and popping out oh and we popped into curries and i have to say i met a gentleman today and um he he knew me. Jacqueline went in and chatted to to the guys um, about um, 
about me needing a new battery pack and so here is my new battery pack um, and if anybody would like to sponsor the new battery pack I wouldn't say no you know because all these equipment things are costing a fair bit but lots and lots of you are really um, helping to make the broadcast keep going um, and um, so anyway I needed to get this oh and that was a fun story as well because I wanted to show I wanted to show the guy in a shop my the battery I had so that he knew because People talk to me about 1400MAH, that doesn't mean anything to me. When he says, this battery will charge your phone four times, that means something to me. I don't understand all this 1400, you know, that, that, you know, my brain doesn't compute that. So it's a portable charger, and I wanted to show him the one I had that I'd been using. And I, I thought I'd left it in Jacqueline's car, so I went back to the car, of course, I had no coat on and the rain decided to, you know, come down as I was going back to the car. You know, these are the things that happen that you don't usually see. So I got soaked going back to the car only to find out that the battery was actually in my bag anyway. I, I didn't need to go out to the car. It was there. You know, these are the sort of things that just happen to me all the time. So anyway, while I was out getting, she obviously was chatting to the people inside and the chap one of the chaps in there knew knew me he'd seen my broadcast and what i am so delighted about is um that he'd he'd watch my broadcast and it had meant a lot to him because he'd seen um he'd seen um, his daughter on the screen there and that was just lovely and i'm delighted that he was able to see his daughter in some of the broadcasts that was just absolutely super um so um Anyway, I am going to um, I'm just yeah. So so I got so we got we've got this. This is going to charge my phone four times before it runs out of battery. So at the moment it's charging up in the back there, and um, so so tomorrow <laughs> we should be fine. Should be back to full battery power. But the phone itself, the battery on my phone, is really starting to run down so i am going to you know need to do something about that at some stage soon but you know we'll worry about that when that happens so anyway so it's today the 9th no it's not it's the 10th of november i tell fibs don't i coincidence is there such a thing or is it synchronicity in the dictionary coincidence says a remarkable con concurrence of events or circumstances without apparent casual connection this story proves that Friends of my mum and dad's lost their son, Bob. One day, Bob's mum had taken her granddaughter, Ava, Bob's niece, to the library for the afternoon. Ava was only two years old. She wandered around the library, as little ones do, stopped and picked out a book. Ava carried it to her grandma. To her surprise, to her surprise the book was titled The Day My Uncle Bob Died. What are the chances of there being a book with that title and for Ava, aged 18 months, to pick it out? True synchronicity. Wishing you a day of amazing coincidence and synchronicities. So there we are. That's, um, that's out of my lovely Butterfly Whispers book. Um, and so um, that concludes tonight's broadcast. I am going to get to bed shortly. Um, you know, and rest my weary bones I've had a wonderful day I hope you enjoy all the live streams we did today there were quite a few of them um, so if you haven't seen them and you'd like to see all I mean what it is it shows a remarkable talent on the island you know people who've made, made one poppy two poppies whole displays of poppies there are so many and so many talented people So that's what, sorry, I'm just so thirsty. So that's what I enjoy bringing you. I hope you enjoy that. Um, and um, I look forward to bringing you more live streams. As I say, if I'm if I'm okay in the morning, I'll go off and do some of the parades. If I don't, then it's just because, um, just because I need to, to rest and recharge my own personal battery. But um, hopefully, you know, I'll get a good night's sleep. So thank you all very much for coming into the broadcast. Please keep sharing because so many more people are watching the broadcast. And when you share, lots more, um, <laughs> lots more people, um, do, you know, come into the broadcast and enjoy it. Um, I make sure the bed bugs don't bite. I certainly will. Um, <laughs> hope you're fully charged for tomorrow thank you Carl I didn't see you come into the broadcast but I did see somebody say hello Carl so I guessed you were there um, you know it's been an amazing day 
Um, we have so much talent on this island and we have so many more broadcasts to bring. And, you know, well done to you, Carl, on all the broadcasts you've been doing since you, you know, started on the live stream. That's absolutely amazing. Um, and we need to do, um, you and I, Carl, we need to do some broadcasting together sometime soon. So we'll put that onto the agenda at some stage. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you all now and go and get a good night's rest ready to go again you know and um, because i'm having such fun doing what i do and i think a lot of you are enjoying it too so bye for now